Hi guys, today we're in Oregon. We came across this beautiful rose. Here is the rose. This is a rose bush. And as you can see, it is full of rose hips. These are what's called rose hips. And they have lots of high an antioxidant powers. Um, very good for immunity. You can just uh, pick off the rose hips like this. You wanna get a dark one. The darker, the better. You can put them directly in boiling water, steep them, and strain them, and then just drink the water, or it would be tea at that point. Um, you can also cut them open, take the seed out. But that's a lot of work. So I suggest just dropping them in the water, letting them steep for about five minutes, or the longer the better, and drinking them up. Okay, now that we've sustainably harvested them and brought them home, we're just gonna pop these tops right on out of them. A lot of people will tell you to open them up and take the seeds out. The seeds are kind of hairy and hard to deal with. So I don't even do that. I just leave them like this. I don't even cut them open. Just take the tops right on off and that's all I do. So the rose hip comes after the flower so if you cut all your flowers off you won't get any rose hips and the whole entire rose hip is edible you can make like jellies and fruit desserts out of it but in that case you would need to take the seed out um, i'm not taking the seed out because i'm only using it for tea rose hips come from rose bushes mainly the dog rose or wild rose are the best ones to use the roses are actually edible too, and I like to throw the petals in my salads. Sometimes I use the rose petals to make rose water, and sometimes I use the hips in that as well. And we have a video on making rose water. I'll try to link it somewhere. The rose hips are super high in vitamin C and flavonoids. See how this has got weird hair in it? I'm putting that to the side because it's counted up to granite. Put that one to the side because. Is it? I don't think it is. I want to keep the seeds. I think that's what it looks like granite. Right it's fine. It's not hurting anything. Oh. You wash them. After you strain them, you pour them in your container, your pitcher. We don't have a pitcher, so we're going to use this bowl. We're just going to pour hot water directly on them. And let them sit 